Hello everybody, this is just a very quick video to explain why I'm not making any new videos for the short term and in fact why I haven't made really any for the last year. In early 2020, um, we obviously had the kick in and my business went mad with everybody being at home and buying fish tanks. So I was kind of tied to the business seven days a week, roughly 10 hours a day without a day off and that left me very little time for doing any videos left me very little time for even editing the videos that I had shot previous to that and I'm still working through those videos now I've still got probably 16 17 filter videos to try and edit and get out from the last 18 months or more so I will try and get those out because I want to see that project through to the end and talking of projects, a lot of you have been asking in the comments about my big pond filter. There was never really a resolution to that. So you'd be quite disappointed to know that I've pulled it to pieces. And the reason I've pulled it to pieces is because it's going to be part of something much bigger that I have been working towards for the last couple of years. In early 2019, I started saving up for a off-grid solar system and I started putting plans together to build extensive vegetable gardens, try and work out where we could move different sheds to, restructure the garden and create some sort of uh, like a permaculture sort of setup. And that is slowly coming to fruition now. It got delayed badly last year because of really, you don't need me to rehash all the nonsense that went on last year and is continuing this year let's just say progress was prevented on all levels <laughs> but now this very minute there is a 12 kilowatt solar system going in along with batteries inverters all that sort of thing to take us off the grid the vegetable garden is just about done. I just need to fill up a few more of the raised beds, which I've made with old sleepers and they look absolutely beautiful. I need to fill those up with a bit more soil, compost and so on, and get them set away. And the irrigation system is where the big filters are coming in. I'm actually moving them to the other side of the pond and all the drains from all the various parts of the filters are going to be piped down into a series of vegetable beds and also into a new greenhouse so I can grow things organically and basically nourish them through whatever is produced in the pond. The filters will be mostly plant based so all the roots will support invertebrates which will wash into the pond and feed the fish. The fish will produce waste in the water which will get taken out in the filters and be used to grow the vegetables. I'm not even going to film many parts of this because it's pretty extensive. I will make videos on this in the very near future. Uh, I've got a note here that says suntan as well. There was a couple of comments that different people have put on my videos asking how I'd managed to get a suntan, whether I've been using a suntan bed. Well, as you can see, I don't have a suntan now because we're coming towards the end of winter. And I didn't actually have a suntan last year. Some of those videos are from the year previous when I did go abroad and got a suntan. <laughs> so I haven't been on a tan in bed or anything like that. Uh, actually, another thing that people have been commenting on in the, in the videos is asking about international shipments. I've had to suspend international deliveries apart from to Ireland because everywhere else, it's just an absolute nightmare to send to. There's so much red tape some of the stuff isn't even getting there, some of the prices have tripled, some prices fluctuate day to day. It's just not a stable environment to send anything abroad. So if anybody wants Bio Home, check out the Filter Pro website and there's flags at the top of every page. That's all our main distributors in different countries, so please just use folks in your own country or very near to you. There's plenty of them there. A lot of the future kind of permaculture gardening videos will be going on my other channel which is called Thousand Yard Stair. Again I'll put the link to that in the video description. 
That one's more suited to the whole kind of self-sufficiency permaculture sort of setup. I want to try and just keep this channel for the aquatic related stuff. I kind of got off track with it a few years ago, tried to do too much with it. I think I just had too much free time back in the early days. Now it's purely just going to be used for the aquatic stuff, filters and all that, you know. Talking of channels and new videos and so on, if any of you guys watching this have a YouTube channel which you actively make videos for, you might want to check out a site called Odyssey, which is O D Y S E E, as in kind of the, the Greek Odyssey. It's an excellent way to back up all your videos, literally just at the press of a few buttons. And the Odyssey site is very much just like YouTube but without the ads. So if you're peed off by the amount of ads and the amount of related videos that come up on YouTube which have nothing to do with what you're watching, then you might want to give Odyssey a try. It's based on like a blockchain sort of uh, structure. So it's not, all the videos aren't like centralized. So therefore it's not, well, it's not like a big tech corporation sort of control mechanism video platform. I've only started using it in the last few days. I've literally ported all my videos over there. I may start doing exclusive videos on there depending on how YouTube goes. But I know there's a lot of people peed off with YouTube. So you might want to check that out. I'll put the link to that in the video description. I think it has real potential. Oh right, the final thing on my list is Comments, emails, phone calls. I just can't get to the comments on YouTube or really any other platform. I don't have time because the business is crazy. As I mentioned before, it's seven days a week, long hours. That shows no signs of letting up. Although I will be making a new website to start supplying to the trade as well. So hopefully I can, you know, push some of the trade to other people and free up a little bit of my time. Um, but that means I can literally just scan quickly through the comments. I cannot, I, can, I just cannot spend the time answering them. And I give my phone number out so people can phone me. Don't bother texting because my phone is about knackered. It's old. My thumbs don't work properly. It takes me ages to text anybody. And normally when I text back, I just text with, please phone me. You have my number. So just phone up if you have any questions that's not a problem my phone number is always in the video description it's always on the website and the entirety of my business is me myself and I so if you phone that number I will pick it up just ask as many questions as you want if I don't know the answer I'll just tell you I don't know the answer if I don't have a product that's suitable I'll tell you where you can get a product that's suitable to fix your particular problem I know in loads of videos I say just phone but uh, I'm old school that way, you know. Most people want to keep people's at arm's length. They want to have fans, followers, all this. I don't want anybody to be classed as a fan or a follower. I don't want people to think that they can't get a hold of me. That's why my number is always down there. In fact, for people watching this on a mobile who don't know how to bring up the video description or a pinned comment, I shall put my phone number across the screen now, just for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.